Hello everyone, this is Linkimus Prime, and happy Jurassic July. Yes, I know that's not really much of a thing currently, but at the same time we are still getting a lot of Jurassic World related stuff this year. Or this month, I mean. We're getting, you know, the Hammond Collection T-Rex, which is still very, very hard to find for me, and, you know, m most other people. Uh, but it is also the month for the release of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, so I can kind of consider, you know, Jurassic July, you know, a thing now since, you know, we're still getting quite a bit more Jurassic World related stuff. So, to start it off, we are going to be taking a look at the Kayla Watts and Pyroraptor 2-pack from Jurassic World Dominion. Now to start off, I do want to start by taking a look at the Kayla figure first, so moving over, whoops, Pyroraptor, and uh, yeah, the detail on Kayla here is actually pretty decent, the paint is also pretty decent as well. Um, overall, though, it is kind of just a bland figure. I mean, they did a pretty good job when it comes to the face sculpt and the hair, like kind of like the dyed parts at the bottom, so that is okay. But the jacket is the one thing that does kind of feel lackluster. But when it comes to paint, while it is minimal, they at least did a pretty decent job when it comes to applying it. And the, uh, you know, some of the molding and sculpting details as well on this figure is pretty decent. But the head sculpt is pretty much what kind of takes the cake. I think this does look pretty good, and they do use the photoreal technology for this, so it does look pretty decent in my opinion. Articulation, we do get a ball joint at the head, so it can look all the way around, down and up a little bit, and a little bit of side to side, not much. A swivel at the waist, which can go all the way around full 360 degrees. Arms can move all the way around, move out about that far, swivel at the elbow, bend at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, so that's pretty much about it for the arms. Legs can kick forward about that much back not really uh, back at the knee and uh, forward at the knee and they can also split as well and the knees can also swivel so that is pretty much about it for articulation for Kayla and she does come with this kind of wet uh, I think this is a taser of some kind I'm pretty sure it is uh, but the paint on this is also pretty decent. We do get the orange for the handle, or orangish brown for the handle, and the this really nice gunmetal gray, which I do like, and she can just hold it in her hand like so. So that is pretty much about it for the Kayla figure. And now, let us take a look at the Pyroraptor figure. In my opinion, this figure is actually pretty decent, but it is not the best when it comes to paint. Overall detail though, which I will cover, is actually pretty nice. The feathery detail I really, really like, and there is that kind of mix of the feathery with the scaly detail, which I do enjoy to kind of emulate, you know, the feathery slash reptilian look uh, from the movie, which, you know, I, I really like how that looks. Um, but, you know, some of the colors on this figure as well aren't, uh, aren't pretty bad. Um, I mean, I'll have to crap. We do get the uh, freaking number here, so that's fun. That looks great. Uh, not really. But, um, I guess, eh, I don't know, the paint is just kind of, while minimal, it's okay in some aspects, but moving in on the face, uh, oh boy, um, it's okay, uh, the eyes are not aligned, they kind of, uh, they, they're kind of bleeding onto the eyelids on both sides, now they do align decently, which is good, but it's just they don't align on the sides that they need to align on. Then we get to the teeth, and oh my god, that is awful. Uh, it's not terrible, terrible. I mean, I've seen worse in terms of teeth. At least they're sculpted, but... Eh. And, like, one of the other problems as well is, like, the, it's bleeding, like, the paint from the teeth is bleeding onto the tongue and onto the mouth, and that just does not look great. And it's kind of just scraping in other areas, too. Uh, now, I will say the inside of the mouth detail does look pretty nice. I do actually really like that. So that's just one thing. Uh, I also like kind of like the, how this is, like, a different contrast of, like, a reddish-pink color compared to this, like, maroon type of color. But it's, uh... That's pretty decent. Uh, the nails are not painted like usual. That's just a common occurrence when it comes to the Mattel Jurassic Park figures, especially in this scale. But I'm not going to complain too much about a $15 set. So yeah. Now when it comes to the articulation on this figure, we do get, you know, a hinge joint at the jaw. I already kind of showed that. But it does open about that much. And it closes. Swivel at the head all the way around. Can look down that far and up about that far. The arms can also rotate. They can't really go back as much because it kind of stops at that point. Uh, but they can move on both sides. Legs can also move on both sides, uh, but not really all the way around. 
Um, so that's, I don't know, not the biggest deal. And then we do get a swivel at the tail. So that is pretty much about it for the articulation. And I cannot forget, but we do get the scan code on the inside, which does flip up and closes. So that is pretty much about it for this figure. Overall, this is a pretty decent set, and I would highly recommend it. It's only 15 bucks. The paint, while it's minimal, it does have pretty good detail in pretty much all kinds of aspects. Articulation, you know, it's also pretty minimal, but it is pretty good with the Kayla figure and the Pyroraptor figure does have a decent amount for its size. Uh, overall, these figures are pretty fun, I'm not going to lie, and uh, 15 bucks is not... Uh, the worst price so would I recommend it heck yes but anyways guys that is about it for this video I hope you all enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video peace